Hi everybody, my name is Vaughan Turney and I'm the chair of Celsi Lifeboat Management Group. Today is Celsi Lifeboat Day. We have a lifeboat display, we have a raft race, we have stands on the green, we have Stormy Stan, our mascot, and this is all to support the charity of the RNLI. 98% of our funds are contributed by generous donors such as yourself. We've got fantastic weather here today. The sea's a bit choppy, but that should make for a far more interesting display. Whenever you see an RNLI flag, think of our brave crews who go to sea not knowing what they're likely to encounter. And if you see an RNLI bucket or an opportunity to contribute, please do so. The D-Class carries a crew of three and it's powered by a 50 horse outboard engine and you can see it can manoeuvre quite safely. This year we had only four rafts, as you saw, and they purely took part in the race, the race for speed. In second place, we had HMS Sarah, and led by Diane McGarry. And Diana has given back her money to the lifeboat. Thank you very much, Diane. And in first place, once again, it's our amazing lifeboat crew who led the way all the way. And led by Dave Lambden. Congratulations, Celsi Lifeboat Crew. And Dave Lambden has given back a hundred pounds. Really thank everyone and uh, love to support the RNLI. And for this year, we're going to donate uh, an extra five hundred pounds towards the uh, RNLI uh, on behalf of uh, all of us at High House to say thank you again for all your support today. Thank you. Well, a huge, huge thank you to High House Insurance, Neil Timber. The kayaker's in trouble, he's capsized, but the D-Class inshore lifeboat is going to his aid. One of the crew members is a lady. We have both ladies and gents serving in the RNLI. And they're recovering the casualty from the water. They're hauling them aboard the D-Class, which is a five-metre inflatable rib. 
and all that we need to do now is recover the kite, which they've now done, and they're speeding safety to a safe haven. Oh, there's trouble. There's a fishing boat on fire, and there's two casualties in the water. Attention, attention. This looks like a job Life for the all-weather lifeboat, which is called the Shannon. Attention, attention. Lifeboat launching. The all-weather lifeboat, the lightest one in the fleet, which is going to be launched using the SLARS launch and recovery system. This comprises the trailer unit, which is a mobile slipway, and is driven by the Supercat. In itself, it weighs 38 tonnes, and if you add that to that, the weight of the Shannon, at 18 tonnes, there's over 50 tonnes hurtling down the beach into the sea. The coxswain, who's in the upper steering position. The Shannon can also be steered from inside the boat, the SLAR system pushing the trailer into the water, and if necessary, it could be submerged for 9 metres. Now Rob will give the signal to launch the Shannon and in it goes. We can launch the Shannon in just five feet of water and very soon you'll see the power of the Scania twin diesels opening up and through the water jets providing the power for the Shannon. This uh, particular craft in the RNI fleet doesn't have propellers or a rudder which gives us a tremendous amount of manoeuvrability as you can see as demonstrated by this fast turn. The numbers on the side denote the length of the boat, which is 13 metres, and the production number, which is 20. So this is the 20th boat in a fleet of 43. The first job is to put out the boat fire, and as you can see, they've got a job on their hands, so they'll have to extinguish the fire using a water hose. This is pumping water, seawater, up through a pump, down the hose, and it's successfully extinguishing the fire. The fire's been got under control and now the fishing vessel is being towed by the Shannon to a safer position on the water. And here comes the Shannon on a sail pass and you can see what a magnificent craft it is. This boat is launched in any condition, 365 days a year, night or day. The crew, who are mainly volunteers, come from a wide range of backgrounds. From landscape gardeners to builders, merchants, developers, almost every trade is represented in this crew. And this is the Derrick Battle. This is a 8.5 metre rib from our flank station at Hailing Island. And now the crew are going to effect a beaches boy rescue. This method is employed where somebody is in trouble on the shore and because of the shallow water, we're unable to get to him using the Shannon. So a life ring is attached to a pulling line and this is brought to the beach by a lifeboatman. The casualty is then put into the ring and the crew on the Shannon will then pull the casualty to safety. This is a procedure that has been trained for over many years, although they make it look simple. And now he's going to climb up onto the side of the Shannon and that's another rescue effectively executed. This is Rob Archibald. He's qualified to drive every lifeboat in the RNI fleet from the smaller inshore lifeboats up to the largest which is the seven all-weather lifeboat and Rob's now reversing off the beach. You'll be interested to know that the Shannon carries a crew of six and that comprises the helmsman, the coxswain, the mechanic, the navigator, the radar operator and one other crew member. And here we are recovering the Shannon. We use the SLARS system. The SLARS is the Shannon launch and recovery system. And so it requires a very powerful tractor unit and a caterpillar driven track machine to bring the boat safely up to the lifeboat station where it's recovered and it takes about an hour to wash the boat down, recover it and refuel it ready for the next shout. Please blow the man down. Give me some time to blow the man down. So I 
tailed her my flipper and took her in tow. Way, hey, blow the man down. And yardam to yardam, away we did go. Give me some time to blow the man down. Blow the man down, please blow the man down. Way, hey, blow the man down. Blowing right back into Chelsea town. Give me some time to blow the man down.